Meghan Markle to spend first Thanksgiving as member of royal family. Meghan Markle will spend her first Thanksgiving as a member of the royal family this year, following her royal wedding to Prince Harry in May. The Duchess of Sussex has previously revealed her enthusiasm for Thanksgiving, which falls on November 22 this year. And it is the first year that U.S.-born Meghan is a royal for the American holiday after marrying Harry in a stunning Windsor ceremony. Meghan and Harry do not have any engagements set for the date, according to the royal family's diary, meaning the couple could have plans to celebrate Thanksgiving. In an Instagram post in November 2016, Meghan shared her excitement about the holiday. The former actress posted a picture showing her posing with a roast turkey on Thanksgiving. Meghan wrote, Oh, that time I roasted a pretty perfect Thanksgiving turkey. The question is, can I do it again? The pressure is on. Next month Meghan will celebrate Christmas with the royal family for the second year. Meghan joined the royals last year in an unprecedented move, as Meghan was not yet married to Harry. And Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, is said to have been invited to join the royal family for Christmas Day this year. The royal family spends Christmas and New Year at the Queen's Sandringham House country residence in Norfolk. Royal Christmas traditions include opening their presents on Christmas Eve, in a nod to their German roots. The royal family's website says, On Christmas Eve, the royal family lay out their presents on dressel tables and will exchange their gifts at tea time. And the Queen attends church every year on Christmas Day with other royals. Crowds of well-wishers gather outside St. Mary Magdalene Church on Christmas Day to see the royal family. Meghan stepped out with Harry in 2017 for her first festive church service. Questions about the Duchess of Sussex's Thanksgiving plans come after royal fans speculated if Meghan had voted in the U.S. midterm elections earlier this month. Meghan has expressed strong political views in the past but members of the royal family traditionally remain neutral. Kensington Palace refused to comment when asked by Express Co. UK if Meghan had voted. Sarah Ferguson married Prince Andrew in July 1986, and the couple became the Duke and Duchess of York. Fergie and Andrew were beloved by many people all over the world for their candid displays of affection and their relaxed attitudes while on royal duties. While controversial at the time, Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice's mother's persona helped revolutionize certain aspects of royal life. This includes royal protocol on public speaking, which the couple rewrote during their royal tour of Canada in 1987, documentary Diana and Sarah, Royal Wives of Windsor has revealed. During the farewell dinner in Canada, Andrew stepped down from the stand and allowed his wife to have the last word with her own comical speech. This controversial move was a first and something that changed the role of royal women forever. Addressing the public, the Duchess said, I could not go through a whole tour letting my dear husband of a year and a day do all the public speaking. So we agreed, for once, that I should have the last word tonight. This historically significant moment has helped pave the way for the likes of Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton to take the microphone off husbands Prince Harry and Prince William and express their own ideas and passions. The Duchess of Sussex for example, married into the royal family less than a year ago, and is already showing a passion for speaking publicly about causes she personally feels strongly about. Most recently, the former Suits star took the lead during the royal tour of Australia, Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand as she gave an emotional address at the University of the South Pacific in Suva about the importance of education in young women. In the same way, the Duchess of Cambridge has had her share of significant speeches during her time in the royal family.